Welcome back, everybody, as we near the conclusion of today's broadcast. Congratulations to the Africa Freaks and Insomnia. They've already punched their ticket, but the Freaks not done quite yet. Totally, they've still got to go up against Tarly's morals here. More for their own morale more than anything else. Well, standings also going to impact the schedule a little sure. bit about when you play a specific team. You know, a different week can mean different results depending yeah. on who you face. That's true. Got to find everyone where you want them. So the Freak's going to try and also, I mean, going 3-0 and in a group stage like this definitely gives you some confidence going into the league. So that's exactly what they're looking to do. Charlie's morals, on the other hand, their hopes are now dashed. They will not be making the PS4 Pro League, but... This is still an opportunity, I think, for individual players yes. to be able to show that, hey, you know, maybe they, a team needs a sub or they're thinking of making some roster changes in the future. This is an opportunity. It's like an, almost like an audition. Make a highlight reel potentially off yeah. of this individual game if there are some remarkable, outstanding performances. But approaching the last game of day three of the PlayStation qualifiers, we saw actually day number one in Tuesday, Charizard in my backyard, takedown making it. So seeing the next two join them. Do you think someone's taking care of that Charizard in their backyard yet? I don't yet? know. I think Charizard is powerful enough that you could just leave him alone. I guess. I mean, who, yeah. who do you even call in that spot? Like, Blastoise. Yeah, yeah, I guess. But I, 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 he never returns my calls anymore. It makes me really sad. I was never a Blastoise guy anyways. I was Charizard. I was a Venusaur. Were you? Yeah. That's weird. No one is a Venusaur person, e except for you, Venus. apparently. And we have arrived. It's first pick Arachne here for Charlie's morals. If you couldn't tell by our tone and by the, these picks and bands already and to some degree, uh, I, I think this is going to be a little bit more lighthearted, sure. a, little, a little bit more relaxed as, as we mentioned, uh, the teams that have qualified have already punched their tickets. I wouldn't be surprised to see a five-man grouping right off yeah. the bat. Look for some invades, go for an early game momentum-based strategy, crash or burn. Exactly. And uh, the Africa Freaks ha have gone with exactly what they have stuck with basically so far. Guan Yu and Geb, two picks they've picked Earlier on today, if my memory serves correctly, Charlie's Morals not done with the Assassins quite yet. They'll go for the Awilix and sticking in the A's. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Like, yeah. where's the theme? Is it yeah. Assassins? Is it A's? It's going the A's. Okay, so if they're going for A's and I'm on Africa Freaks, I'm banning Anubis and Agni. Mm, there's also Aphrodite you got to worry yeah, about. Oh, yeah, I ban Afro. Hmm, what else is up there? Uh, Achilles. Achilles is Achilles, definitely yep. another one that you got to Athena. Worry about. Nice. Ah, they're Good man. About it. They're, okay. They they're, know. they're in the they're in the right frame of mind. You know Charlie's morals are like, damn, they figured us out. They banned away their own A. Oh, they How did. They banned away your own A. Man, that's tough. I mean, they still they, they still have on her. I mean, they already have one hunter, true, but true. that hasn't stopped them with the with the assassins. Ooh. Wasted ban. Wasted ban. That starts with an R. Come no. on. Come on. Not guys. even close. Pay, pay attention here, folks. This is A's draft for Charlie's morals, at least thus far on the other side though the freaks i mean they're just taking whatever they want they are not clearly bound by the rules that charlie's morals have gone for thus far instead going for some strong picks across the board so so al kwong to consider potentially oh, true. as well i'm thinking of a i can't think of a guardian though that starts with an a well you probably play achilles support new water they oh, break their own rules man, man. that's that's messed not up even fun aries uh, that's the one I'm shout outs to matt he just see yeah. one in the year and gave us that one from production. Nuwa and Anubis. Man, whoever that one guy was ruined it all. I mean, technically there's an A, but it's at the end, not towards the beginning. So if you just Aoun. That's what we're gonna call it this game. We gotta yeah. we gotta stay true to the A's. Aoun. Yeah. And Agni, which would have been a great pick for the A team on the side of Charlie's morals. Uh, th this is a little bit weird as well from Africa Freaks now that you take a look, because they don't have the traditional jungler. Could be Agni or Thoth solo, True. I suppose. I think it'll be Thoth jungle if I were to consider really? the options. I, he, his level one clear is not that good it's for not, jungle camps. But his gank potential is yeah, scarce. So. Could be Uller jungle with like Thoth ADC. True. We could see that. Yeah. Vote has played some Thoth ADC during his time. So why wait? We'll figure it out right now. And it is Agni jungle. Okay. Going to be seeing a little uh, raining of the bombs potentially as he did start the Assassin's Blessing. Not traditionally the best magical jungler of choice. There's always Poseidon that's up there. Anubis also true. comes to mind. That is true. It could be a couple different things. Looks like a couple uh, role swaps potentially here. FIFA Beast was in the solo lane for Charlie's Morals basically all day long. Now in the jungle, at least in some capacity. That's Judas, true. believe, was is a sub because I don't re recognize that name unless yeah. I was really... Not paying attention. Unique thing and Trakowski swapping their traditional mid and hunter role respectively. Seeing a little level one grouping underneath after the red buff 
invade potentially. Couldn't really find much of anything though. And that's going to be good lane control from Africa Freaks. Scott going to throw the slow on a Mr. Sax. This is one of those games where Africa Freaks are like, all right, you know, we're clearly the best team in this group. We're sitting at 2-0. Oh, we'll get an easy breezy game six here and, you know, finish off the, the perfect record. And then you get thrown four A-Gods in a new Wa solo. And you're like, okay, well, what is going on here? Sometimes these can be difficult to, to combat. You don't always face these kinds of compositions, so we're going up for the test. If Charlie's Morals can get off to a great early start between this Arachne and a Willish combination, they have potential. Oh, nice knockup from FIFA Beast. And that's first blood for the Morals. Gunter playing a little bit too aggressive in that mid lane, even alongside his mage jungler in that of Button much Masher, Button Mancha, whatever. Trying to make a play happen in the dual lane. Those Plague of Locusts dealing so much damage. Forcing out the the, uh, the jump from Fire God. Rolling through the Grasping Hands. Unique thing. Doesn't have the damage quite yet. This level 2 Anubis goes for the Mage's Blessing and the Tiny Trinket. Whereas a lot of other Anubises would much rather prefer just going straight up. Talent Trinket. Get that 60 Magical Power available to full clear at level 1. Yeah, you really can full clear with just Plague of Locusts. As Scott, again, forces Fire God back. Unique thing, I mean, the, uh, Anubis ADC, one, one, first of all, unique. Got to give him credit there, sticking true to the name. True, in, in, true. In some degree. But Anubis is a god that I really, I keep waiting for that one Anubis player slash performance that makes us all go, oh, this is what this character needed. And it's not, you know, not itemization, not... It balance changes. It just feels to me like Anubis is a god that's really easily punished at the competitive level, but if you just are hella accurate with your rap and your ultimate, you can kind of make it work anyways. That's I mean, true. it just does so much damage. You're a big proponent of you, the Anubis solo. He definitely makes a lot of plays happen, but the thing is you have to build around him. You need yeah. a lot of different elements to protect him. Geb is a must pick. Without mm. Stone Shield, Anubis is a sitting duck during the Plague of Locust and the laser beam. And yeah, Anubis solo lane is very unconventional, but it just makes a lot of sense in general. Like you can't get bullied that much because you're more than likely gonna deal more damage than the opposition. Well. As there's a little bit of a rotational gank from this jungle act. And jungle beast, or FIFA beast, excuse me. Now the jungle beast, as he's moved from solo, is making it happen. Unique thing gets the kill on this left-hand side. Early pressure, which is exactly what you'd expect from the very traditional Arachne Anubis duo lane. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. You just hold down left click and look for the damage That's from Arachne. Right trigger, told you. Come on. We're doing PS4 qualifiers. You hold down right trigger. You sure? It's yeah. not console? Yeah. It's or, sorry, Xbox rather Yeah, I mean, it's a PS. Look, I know you're trying to bait me into a conversation that I shouldn't be having. All right. Final judgment was perfect there from Gunter. <laughs> really nice shot. Andre Tchaikovsky. Gunter Warriors looked good all day long. He's been playing the Giannis is the first time on the Thoth and already looking pretty solid on it. Just because my personal opinion and this caster's opinion that the Xbox controller is just inherently better for yeah. me doesn't mean that uh, I've played a little bit on PS4 as well. It's right. It's right. It's still a trigger. Okay. Just making sure yeah. that uh, it's not going to be the X key or the A key. No, there's no A on PS4. It's, it's an X. You had it right the first time. No, no, Xbox a, also for the, a for the Xbox. Xbox yeah, correct. That's yeah. what I was saying. The same positioning, right? Yeah, well, yeah. I play on Savage, so that, that's my beats. Ah. A, a is where I have beats. You don't, you, now, I don't know. I think the traditional sort of setup on console is with A, B, X, and Y on Xbox, or X squared, circle, and triangle as your... Uh, are we getting into an equation formula here? Yeah, we kind of are. Uh, I think that is the default to use your abilities like that, but it just felt so much more natural to be using it like on the on the buttons, on the bumpers rather. Ooh, missing the dash, fat. Not gonna find that one this time around. And Shooter's actually what? casually what? killing the <laughs> agony jungle. He's like, all right, I got a kill. Turns around, fast kill still there. He's like, what? What do you mean? I killed someone else. He wasn't ready for that. Fast kill is ready for Trakowski though. Comes crashing down with that across the sky. Doesn't have a lot of CC now. This is going to be difficult for him to catch up without any sort of boots. He rushed the Devourer's Gauntlets. Fast kill gets the solo kill, but Judas uh, planned it perfectly. Surviving that 
was fantastic through the tier one tower between tier one and tier two. Is Gunter just kind of all casually watching? Doesn't matter if you're on PC, Xbox, or PlayStation. If you miss an ability, and your opponent's not going to do to you anything after the fact, just stand there and be like, "Yeah, come, that come happened. On. Come on, son. No, I can't. Yeah, I, I, I'm a big proponent of that one, but not a big proponent of uh, of Arachne Anubis duo lane. But it's worked out." So far for Charlie's morals, unique thing is Rush the Bancroft's Talon to really just, you know, m mobility be damned. He's going to do as much damage as he possibly can, and Anubis is going to output more damage than just about anybody. I mean, listen, both of these members in the duo lane are energized. These, these double A's are sitting at 1-0-1. Oh, they have plenty nice. of juice to go the distance. Look at the, all the damage. On to Fire God, holding on to the jump. There goes the ultimate. Goes that's down. A, that's all day for unique thing. Who needs movement speed? He'll make it happen as is. Dash gets caught by Gunter Warriors evade and punish. And again, Final Judgment finds its home on the Trakowski. Gunter Warrior now with two stylish kills onto his mid lane counterpart. As poorly as the duo lane is going for Africa Freaks, the solo is going even better as is the mid. So two lanes doing pretty well for them thus far. Scott in trouble, no ultimate for him and he's going aggressive and that's because unique things coming from the left hand side fire god gonna try and put down scott before his dual lane member gets here but can't do it quite yet unique thing is able to take down the geb but now in a 2v1 without a lot of cooldowns still with help coming from fifa beast is a okay anubis styling on them with the laughs there goes the blink feather step needs one more basic as fifa takes out fire god from the solo lane and on the backhand side of the jungle, the Agni jungle making it happen. Judas helping out with it with an ultimate all the way from solo lane that does like no damage at all because he's solo Nuwa thus far. I've had to deal with a lot of solo, solo Nuwa in my life, but that's because I teamed with Uzzy, who just ah. would only play Nuwa solo if it were up to him. Uh, it does have its advantages. Ma? No, it was Nuwa. It was, yeah, not not the he, he's been a big. He just split pushes his heart away. He tells us he's helping with his ultimates. He's not. He kno he knows it deep down, but you know, you know how it is. Up until Nuai hits level 13, don't expect real damage coming right. from her ultimate before she gets a lot of burst and penetration to follow that up. Somebody has to be less than 100 health to really confirm a kill. What a Sorry, I, you were trying to get on track there, and I'm just not going to let that happen. Uh, what did you always try and bother your teammates to play in solo? Like, what weird pick? Um, mostly assassins. Like, yeah. a lot of Bakasora. A okay. little bit of the Willish as well, Gunter Warrior. Finding a kill from a distance. Okay. Africa just casually stealing the gold fury. And then Gunter Warrior shoves it home on the final beast. Drakowski does land in the back line and clean up Mr. Sax, but... Fire God hunting for blood on the unique thing, looking for the payback, but Gunter Warrior will set that up nicely. A three for one, and the Freaks steal away the Gold Fury. The early lead, which often happens with these weird compositions, and as also often happens, doesn't last for long, is now the Freaks up 2K. Especially when you force objectives like that. The new Oz solo lane gets taken down, 1v2, trying to run away. The Agni avoids the knockup. Same can't be said about the Guan Yu. Doesn't have the most defenses in the world, optimizing for magical defense against Judas, but still going to be A-OK -okay with the heals. Scott, not so OK. He's put down summarily in the mid lane by the Freaks. This is uh, th this is one of those moments where you're you're playing a game, you're playing ranked or whatever, and you're you're killing your lane. You know, your unique thing, it's like, yo, I'm playing Anubis ADC and I'm crushing it, bro. I'm soloing my opposition. Everything's going great. You press tab and you're like, why is the rest of my team down by so much gold? That's what it feels like right now. Well, they forced an objective that they probably shouldn't have, to be sure. fair. They didn't have that window of opportunity. There was a straight up five on five and the rotation from Gunter, a thought alone has enough burst damage to outconfirm anybody's abilities from Charlie's morals. Like, yeah, Unique Thing does a lot of damage, but that's damage over time through his ultimate, which melts the Gold Fury, but without that big bang burst, there's always the kill, uh, objective steal, rather, from Africa Freak. So even though there was even more kill potential from Africa Freaks. Avoiding even a fighting situation. The r amount of range Gunter has is not worth even forcing the Gold Fury in 5 on 5. Well, it certainly has come back to haunt Charlie's morals as they have lost their early lead. Fire God's still a bit 
fearful on his left hand side, and probably for good reason for this many people coming at him. But Charlie's Morals focus on the objective. Well done. They'll get that tier one tower and should be able to just play it slow from here. But look at this long rotation in coming from Button Masha. Thought about it, but started to head back towards mid. Meanwhile, Judas is uh, in trouble on the right. I mean, gonna use this clay golems to zone away the Galania for a moment. Stun into the knockup. Cataclysm could have been used before the knockup to really apply more of a longer duration CC. Unique things just under the tier two tower getting dope. The Anubis uh, now at three deaths so far. Still three kills for him though. Good axe from Fire God. Could be another dive potentially, but Button Masher meets up with FIFA Beast in the jungle. Skunter Warrior now comes in, and that's exactly when everyone from Charlie's Morals decides they don't want to be there anymore once Gunter Warrior shows up. At least that's what should have been the idea. FIFA Beast hadn't gotten that memo. Did you hear my Zero's impression, by the way, during the last game? You, no, I you, did not actually. All right. <clears throat> should I be Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna be impressed. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be really good. Ready? Hold on. Joukowsky's trying to get a kill in mid lane, and I'm gonna give him the respect he deserves as he does find that that kill in the mid lane. Very close, but he got the job done. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> now close your eyes. So I want you to really feel like Zeros is here with you. I can't imagine you and Zeros what do you assembling mean? the same vessel. Oh no, this is this is gonna be easy for me. Okay, Ready? fine, I'm closing my eyes, Sagro. What the beast. Perfect, right? Open your eyes. It was me the whole time, Tully. Zeros oh, wasn't even goodness, here. Oh my goodness, it's you. It's me. You're not the mid laner for Team Dignitas? No, I'm not. I don't even play that much Thanatos mid. So after today's broadcast, I want you to go back home, mm -hmm. go in front of a mirror, and practice that like a thousand times in a row. Because that, was, that think, was god awful. If you think I haven't said what the beast in that exact manner a thousand times up until now, then you don't know me very well. I just say the same thing over and over and over again until other people think it's funny. And, and I'm getting close. I can feel it. Fire God. In trouble now with Scott Bros on the chase, ripped back and brought down. Good play from FIFA Beast and another knockup. What the beast! He sets up Scott for the double kill. Oh, aggro. You're so young. I'm so young. Not as old. Yeah. I mean, Trakowski gonna use that Aegis, getting dove with the cavalry charge. Fast kill, setting him myself up with a stun, but. That's going to be it for Trakowski. Can't really make anything happen on the escape. Gold Fury's coming up soon, and Unique Thing is on the map, and that's the one you're kind of looking for to make plays around that Gold Fury, because as you mentioned, he's got great DPS on the objective itself. And now that he's got pen boots, and something that he didn't have before, that penetration, very relevant when going up against the Gold Fury. But look at where Charlie's morals are heading. Please be a Pyromancer. Oh. Please don't pull Fire Giant. Okay, right. they pulled Pyro. We're okay, but I think they know. Yeah, on they, the opposite oh yeah. side, Africa Freaks wrapping around all the way. Pyromancer does finally go down 14 minutes into the game. But Africa Freaks not going to let this go for free. They're looking for at least one kill. Button Masha stops the back of Judas. Does good damage, but not good that good. Beads was on time, and Button Masha's Flame Wave could get the job done here. But Gold Fury's happening on this left-hand side. Scott gets crushed off to the Cataclysm. Double kill for Fire God as that Gold Fury will go the Freak's way. Unique thing still on the run in the mid lane. And Lifesteal good enough to get him out of there. Pops the sprint during the tell or right before using the tell assault to avoid that slow from Unique thing. Good recognition there. Being able to survive that tier two tower dive attempt. Meanwhile, Nua going into the sky buys herself just enough time to avoid that death. All right, so I heard your Zeros impersonation. Yeah, yeah. Do you do a lot of personations? Uh, I wouldn't say a lot. You know, I try and keep the, the number down, but the quality up. Okay. Do you have any other impersonations? Um, no. No, no? Not, not really. I mean, not I do. All? I mean, obviously, I do the best Ho Yi impression in the office. That's already been determined, though. I, we, I don't. We, we barely yeah. need to revisit that. Um, I, uh, oh, I do a good John Quee impression. Really? Ready? Okay, yeah. how would you, before we start that yeah. one, how would you rate that compared to your uh, Zeros impersonation? Um, you know, a little bit less practice than my Zeros impersonation, but probably a bit better, if I'm, if I'm being honest okay. with you. Okay, I mean, you've played enough of him that I'm sure you've had this on lockdown. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? Yes. <coughs> Should I close my eyes for this one, too? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'm... I'm, I'm oh, hold on. Wait, again, rudely interrupted. 
Drakowski, again, the interruptee, but this time he's on the bat end. Before he got the kill, this time Gunter Warrior puts him down with the invade and punish. And as John Kui would say, no demon is safe. Okay, that one was pretty good. Yeah. I'll give you that one. That was pretty good. But right? man, that Zero's impersonation, what do you mean? He <laughs> sees a good play and he's like, wow, what the beast. No, that was, well, that's a little rough. A little rough for Fire God getting flanked on the backhand side. Thought this was a one-on-one, -on -one, but he actually does a decent amount onto FIFA Beast. Not going to survive that one. Unique Thing locked himself in place for a moment. Final Judgment's coming, but Unique Thing sprints out of the way at the perfect moment. Still creating enough distance. Is Scott going to step up? And now Blink Forward from Unique Thing. Cataclysm will stop the damage for a minute, but Death Gaze coming through. The Lifesteal is good enough. This Anubis putting in the work now. Not enough to save FIFA Beast. He gets put down, but you got to respect the Anubis plays where you can get him. Gunter with a nicely timed Aegis survives and gets himself a double kill in this 2v3. Now joined by two of his teammates, turning it into a four on one. No life for Scott Bros. I could also do a pretty decent Nuwa impression. Okay, let's hear it. Nuwa. That's how she says it. I thought you were going to go a little bit deeper than just no. saying her name. No, it's kind of where my Nuwa impression ends, to be honest with you. It's just with the. New Wa uh, Strakowski yet again interrupting your impersonations. Yeah, always. Yeah. Messed up, man. He's going to be able to get away here, I think, though. No, nope. Sprint is up and Winged Blade for fast kill. Strakowski is toast oh, in this spot. Just no waiting Mez on the either. Assault. Yeah, no Mez as it was used earlier. Uses the Aegis for the moment. Has the Mez available now, but one more dash and basic attack will do it. Call that. It's the kill. I was you ever get those moments where it's like, yeah, it's going to take about this one ability and another basic to find the kill? Yeah, and then I'm uh, never correct whenever I, whenever I do those sorts of things. Death Gaze gets it done. Unique thing with the shutdown on the fast kill and just got a ton of gold. Like, a ton of gold. I mean, fast kill was level 17, 8, and 0. Yeah. Kind of gold. Better Nubis. Going to do even more damage. Actually, rushing that Gem of Isolation. Looks like not the preferred go-to item for the Anubis. You already have plenty of slow in the three. Yeah, I get I think, it. I think uh, I think the Typhons is the way to go here. Like if you're just doubling down on the I'm gonna stand and mess you up. Sure. Like, Typhons is kind of what you're looking for. I would go Typhons, but first I'd go Spirit Magus. Yeah, that's fair. FIFA gets tripped up and then he lays there for ten minutes like a real soccer player. What's that one guy's name that everyone's memeing? Neymar. Yeah, Neymar. He just pulled the Neymar. Yeah, kind of. Like, he's on the ground for the next 30 seconds. Yeah. Kind of just like Neymar. Poor guy. Can you imagine getting immortalized as a meme? Oh, I mean, wait. look, first of all, if I were getting memed like Neymar, that'd be fine, because that would mean I had Neymar money, dog. Africa freaks get the fire giant. Drakowski. Should basically count himself lucky that he didn't just get insta-killed by the final judgment as soon as he landed. Unique thing gonna show up. Death Gaze gets the job done once again. Scott Bros brings down Gunter Warrior, but it was Unique Thing's damage that set him up. Fast kill should finish off this Anubis shortly. Good stun. But that was a good stun. No one really around him to assist in that Anubis stun. Judas a little bit too far away, and New Wine and Anubis combination, honestly, paired up in the same team fight, does a lot with the clay golem penetration. But Nasha stuck in an awkward spot now, and FIFA Beast kind of lets him out of it because FIFA Beast realized that it was he who was stuck in the awkward position. Judas, beautiful axe done there by Fire God. B. Vegas, not enough to save his health bar for the moment, but will be enough to save his life in total. Both he and FIFA Beast walk it back to the base. Scott Bros is Arachne support. Doing what it can. Mr. Sachs with a perfectly timed Blink Cataclysm, really disrupting that Clay Golem explosion combination. Middle Phoenix gets looked at. FIFA Beast gets obliterated by the Fire Dots. And another kill for the Agni Jungle. 5-1-8 and eight now for that selection. Silently, Button Mash has gotten up to second overall in the player damage chart. It's been the Gunter Warrior so, so far. As Tarkowski has uh, struggled a little bit. Far. Death Gaze coming on through, receiving the Geb Shield. Battle Mancha looking to disengage while Fire God looking for the cleanup. Fast kill will strip that one away, get some revenge for his only death so far. Judas takes to the sky, but gets enough distance between him and the opposition to get himself to safety. 
Attempted aggressive end call. Yeah. Very aggressive call. Uh, Guan Yu very low. Can't take the Titan necessarily. Mr. Sachs, level 14 Geb. Looking for the end still, but a good double knockup. Really, really nice from FIFA B. Scott Bros brings out Fire God, but still the Titan getting lower, but fast kill falling should stop that end attempt. Africa Freaks can't quite find the victory at the 21 minute mark, but Charlie's morals, where is he going? He's just getting some farm on the right side. Yeah, but why not, not, not like, I mean, you can, uh, all right, let's evaluate this. Level yeah. 19, Thoth, level uh -huh. 18, Agni. Mm -hmm. Yeah, level but Thoth 18. has no relics. He's low on mana, and you're knocking him up to buy time for your team to, to get close. True. Or you can just trust your teammates to find the cleanup, and you get the clean experience on the right and the tower. I guess. It's just like when, um, objectively, I'd say that this is the right call. I mean, they don't get either of the kills, but the tier two tower is certainly worth more. I don't know. It just feels to me like whenever you give your friend like five bucks to go buy you a smoothie and then they're just like, thanks, and take the five dollars and never get you the smoothie. They're like, all right, Drakowski, knock him up for us, bro. And he's like, all right, you got it. And then just leaves. Is there something you wanted to tell us? Is there a specific person that's wronged you in the past, Agro? <sighs> Are you still Too waiting many. on a smoothie? Too many to name, Tolly. Too many to name. You want to get a smoothie after this? That actually sounds pretty good. Yeah, you know, it's kind of hot outside. I'm down for a smoothie. All right. Let's get a smoothie after this. Africa Freaks might not have us wait too long for that smoothie at this rate. They're up 29 to 18 in the kill department. Not a 10,000 gold lead, but a 6,000 gold lead is still pretty solid at this point in the game. Really, it's that 8,000 experience difference that makes it very difficult for Charlie's morals to, to fight back. I mean, 47 kills in 22 and a half minutes. You're looking at about more than two kills per minute between the two of these teams, really flexing their abilities on the battlefield with how aggressive they want to fight. Certainly aggressive. Yes, I would uh, I would concur with that. Drakowski heading to the left side now after claiming his tier two on the right. We'll look for another on the left, but Gunter Warriors on the way over there. Blink forward from Mr. Sachs, hits on a Judas, and that'll get that fire shards out from the new wall, but it did keep everyone from Charlie's morals back enough for the tier two to fall. Trakowski's still looking for the square push, but now it's Scott Bros up in the sky, avoiding the cavalry charge, leading the charge. Fast kill, gets stunned down, but not taking that much damage. The retreat has been called, considering that Apollo's here. Apollo is here, and finds the mez on both front liners, but Drakowski is not doing a whole lot of damage at this point. Neither is FIFA Beast, considering he's dead for the sixth time. He does have the most damage on his team, though. Certainly worth mentioning as Button Masha nearly did it there. Four on five. Africa Freaks winning it on the ride while the left side Gunter defended the split push and now doing a little split push of his own, trying to get a tier two tower. Phoenix being looking on, on the right fast kill, almost going down as the rest of Africa Freaks no longer have the Fire Giant buff. They need to consider if they want to keep on going or just go for this buff. Tier two on left falls to the hand of Gunter Warrior, and he has been so important as far as the damage is concerned. He's got the most in the game. Button Masha, a couple damage short of bringing down Unique Thing on that right side Phoenix is now. Gunter starting to group up with the squad. Fire Giant's up and available here, but Freak's not really going for it yet. They could also get the middle Phoenix with it due to respawn any second now. Even Fire Minions down that mid lane. Cavalry Charge coming alongside Judas, forcing out the Fire Shards. Onto Unique Things is the Talon Ooh, Assault. Nice. Great stun from Unique Thing. Very nice. It's been really nice with those stuns so far. Hasn't stopped him from falling a couple times, but Gunter Warrior also falls in that engagement. Mid Phoenix falls quickly, but Freaks lose one member. and arguably their most, most important one so far in Gunter Warrior. Now they're kind of walking around the jungle. I thought of another impression I can do, but you need to be familiar with Poseidon's bass voice pack. I can only do sure. one line. Okay. Okay, ready? <clears throat> hi. That's how he says hi. That's your own voice. No, but it's exactly in the... Okay, on God, that was the best impression I've done so far today. You need to go back and listen to the default Poseidon voice pack and tell me that wasn't a perfect recreation. I didn't hear a reverb. I didn't hear any of that. No, it just... Hi! It's like so like... It's, it, I, I use the default Poseidon voice pack at all times because I love that high so much. Okay. 
I didn't know you felt that way about Poseidon, but you know, whatever I gives do. you life throughout the day, Agro, whatever brings your <sighs> goosebumps, you know, gets your blood what flowing, no? like, you know, the goosebumps. Yeah, I know the goosebumps. Yeah. Why would I get goosebumps from saying hi to someone? I mean, it gets you that hi that you've been looking for. So. All righty then. Production has it right. Production the, the, definitely the, the has it right. Poolside is by Poolside, far. Poolside is great. Don't get me wrong. But there's something just really troll about like missing a Kraken and then going, hi, right afterwards. Like, that, but the that enemy's is not going to hear that. I hear it. and Okay, here's what you need to understand about me, Tully. And this is something that it really chat should understand about me as well. This will give you much insight into why I am the way I am. I don't make jokes for you or for anyone else. I make jokes because I think they're funny. It's a very selfish act that I do every time I make a joke. And so it doesn't matter to me that the enemy doesn't hear it or that my teammates don't understand it. It's funny to me, so it's worth doing. Man, good luck selling tickets to your next comedy show, Agro. Hey, man, you might it just, it, maybe you'll think they're funny, too. That's just not as important to me as them being funny to me, you know? Left side, Africa Freaks looking to close out this game, blinking into the back line. Mr. Sax with a good cataclysm to force FIFA Beast out of the action. In the backside, though, a little bit of pressure for Unique Thing. Unique Thing under plenty of it, though he does escape momentarily. Scott Bros down to about half HP, and he doesn't have an ultimate. Fast kill does, and Gunter Warrior will finish off what the rest of the team started. Trakowski stunned, and Sprint received. Gunter Warrior's final judgment does about half of Judas's HP. Is now the Freaks looking for the Titan again. They've got all five members this time, totally. Trying to make it happen in the sky. Trakowski still waiting on the landing, but his Titan getting so desperately low. Nice little death case to buy a moment, but Fast Kill barely taking any damage. Fast Kill looks like he wants to be done with it, and Africa Freaks confirm their 3-0 day here in Group B in Europe. Congratulations to them. They are the top seed coming out of Group B in Europe, and they will be in your PS4 Pro League alongside their other team in this group, which was Insomnia. Those two teams coming out on top today. Joining them from Group A is going to be Charizard in my backyard alongside Takedown. And once we take a look about the standings, there's also more action than just Europe. There's going to be some more North America later down the week. Excited to see the Freaks versus Takedown matchup, the two 3-0 teams from the groups in Europe. And as you mentioned, we aren't quite done with these PS4 qualifiers. We are today, but tomorrow, make sure you tune in at 11 a.m. Eastern as we start off Group B in North America. I hear we're going to get some familiar faces there, maybe a little bit of Shing Chen Solo coming out of Derek Worst, potentially. The Worst in the thick of it all. I like these team names. Family Friendly, BM Esports, Conquest Esports, alongside the Speedy Slugs. That's a solid name. Charizard in my backyard has really grown on me as a team name, mm -hmm. though. Like, the first time I saw it, I was like, come on. That's, you can come up. You can come up with something better than that. No, but think about it. You're playing Pokemon Go, and it's like, hey guys, I got a Charizard in my backyard. Everyone come through, and then everybody's at your house. Literally, yeah, the yeah. next two minutes. It's true. Yeah, everyone comes to hang out with you, and even if they don't want to, they show up. And that's a good trick for you guys if you can't get anyone to hang out with you. Not that I would know about that. You can come out and hang out with me by buying HRX tickets. DreamHack is coming November 16th through the 18th. HighResExpo.com is the place to go. Maybe you can join me and Tully and get some smoothies. Potentially. Well, we're not going to promise you any Charizards in that backyard, that's for sure. But no. we'll, maybe we'll see them one day at HRX. It could certainly be. You can get your Pokemon Go on in Atlanta downtown right by the Georgia World Congress Center. That's where DreamHack is held every year, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So buy your tickets. We had a lot of fun today. Thank you so much for watching. That concludes Europe overall. The four teams are already determined. we still got two more to go tomorrow. We hope to see you there. 11 a.m. We'll see you then. Go ahead and peach it.